dear students today let us discuss about conformational analysis before entering the topic let me say the meaning for conformation conformation means structure that is in this particular topic we are going to talk about overall structure of the component the term conformation used to denote number of infinite momentary arrangement of the atom in space which result by means of carbon carbon single bond rotation or bent of cyclic structures we know very well about the carbon carbon single bond that is free to rotate because of the carbon carbon single bond rotation we are getting conformational changes the same way uh, if we go through the cyclic structures there also we are getting a number of conformers uh, which is resulted by means of bent of the cyclic molecule here i want to say the meaning for bent bent of cyclic molecule bent means here also uh, this is a sort of rotation in which number of chemical bond undergoes rotation strictly speaking this is an analysis of physical and chemical properties of compound in terms of conformation for example let me take ethene because of carbon carbon single bond rotation we can get number of conformer from ethene molecule for example let me assume just i am going to label two of the hydrogen available in different carbon atom in ethene if i label the carbon i will get n number of structures from ethene among the n number we can select six of the extreme structures they are namely called as eclipsed and staggered structures here i have used two words eclipsed and staggered eclipsed means in that particular case we will be having the h1 h1 and the two carbon available in ethene on one plane likewise h2 h2 two carbon h3 and h3 and remaining two carbon they will be on one plane the angle between the plane is 120 degree likewise if you go to staggered there also uh, the same type of uh, hydrogen is available in the particular case the hydrogen available opposite side and two carbon will be on one plane vice versa remaining hydrogens also there the angle between the plane is 60 once again let me repeat in eclipsed structure the angle between the plane is 120 degree but if we go to staggered angle is 60 degree before entering the topic let me recollect the newman projection formula how will we write the newman projection formula for sp3 hybridized carbon and all so once again let me take the ethene just i am looking at the molecule by using the carbon carbon single bond axis by looking like that i can see the first carbon i can't visualize the back side carbon in the situation uh, if the plane angle is 120 the particular structure is namely called as eclipse that you can see from the picture which is uh, which is coming now then if you go to staggered as i mentioned earlier there in staggered the plane angle is 60 degree that that is also coming in the picture that you can realize that is namely called as staggered so these are all the newman projection formula as i mentioned earlier if i label two of the hydrogen rotation of carbon carbon single bond will give a number of conformers among them let me select six of the conformer which is coming in the screen now in that case we have structure 1 3 and 5 they are namely called as eclipsed structure number 2 4 and 6 they are namely called as staggered so as far as the energy consideration concern the eclipsed structure have somewhat higher energy than that of the staggered one why i am telling like this the eclipsed structure the hydrogen available parallelly almost they will make steric hindrance due to that there will be a raise in the internal energy of the eclipsed structure if you go to a staggered structure there that particular strain is absent so when we compare these two energy consideration wise the eclipsed structure is possess somewhat higher energy than that of the staggered one let me go in brief how much energy is actually uh, differ from the eclipsed to staggered the energy difference between them is 3 kilocalories per mole that 3 kilocalories high in uh, 3 kilocalories per mole high in the energy is due to uh, repulsion between the hydrogen and hydrogen which is appearing parallelly as i mentioned earlier the potential energy difference between the eclipse and staggered is 3 kilocalories by using that we can draw a potential energy difference versus dihedral angle curve that is uh, coming in the screen actually as i mentioned earlier the potential difference between them is 3 kilocalories per mole that's also mentioned in the particular graph 
that's all regarding the confirmation of ethene. For a change, let me go to conformational analysis of uh, butene. There, just uh, what we are going to uh, discuss in the particular topic is, just let me assume, just I am going to replace the labeled hydrogens by means of methyl group. Likewise, uh, like the ethene, here also we will get number of structures, I mean number of conformers. Among the, let me uh, once again pick up the six extremes. Among the six, once again, uh, three eclipsed and three staggered. Once again, in this case, all the three eclipsed is not identical. For example, uh, let me go through the structure number one. In the particular structure, we have the methyl group parallelly where repulsion is maximum. Uh, due to that, there will be normal raise in the internal energy. But if you come to uh, remaining uh, two structures, the structure number three and five, they are also namely called as eclipse structures. But in that particular case, the methyl groups are somewhat away. They are 120 degree away. So that the repulsion will be somewhat minimum when we compare with the fully eclipsed, I mean structure number one. If we go to staggered structures, that is structure number two, four and six, once again, they are also some uh, differentiation. They are, they are also not equal. Let me take structure number two and six. They are staggered, no doubt at all, but in that particular case, the methyl groups are 60 degree away. There will be repulsion between the methyl group and methyl group. That particular repulsion is namely called as Van der Waals repulsion or gauge between interaction. Whenever we find one gauge between interaction in a molecule, raise the energy of forms, point 0.9 kilo color uh, per form uh, having so somewhat higher energy. Then compare then there these two uh, staggered with the previous one. Come to section number four. That is also one of the uh, staggered, but in that particular case, we have the methyl group far away. They are anti to each other. So, there will not be any repulsion. If we go through all the six structures given in the uh, formula, the anti structure that is section number four is highly stable. That will be the maximum population. Using this idea of the energy conservation, we can plot a curve like the previous case between the potential energy difference versus dihedral angle. There is uh, the data and all given in the particular graph. Next, let me go to uh, confirmational analysis of ethene, ethylene glycol. Once again, in that particular case, uh, let me uh, replace the two methyl group, which already uh, we have replaced the labeled hydrogen by OH. This is somewhat special case, and this hydrogen bonding is involving. As we, as we seen in the previous case, gauge form have somewhat higher energy than it of the anti form. But in this case, gauge form is highly stable, I mean less energetic. Reason is this, in the particular conformation, hydrogen bonding is actually involving. If one hydrogen bond available in one molecule, that will reduce the energy of 5 kilocalories per mole. Due to that, that particular gauge form is highly stable than that of the anti form. If we go to 1 comma 2 dibromoethene, there also we can draw all the six, uh, six uh, extreme structures. Let me pick up uh, two of them, uh, namely called as gauge form and uh, anti form. In this particular case, the anti form is uh, more stable because in this case, uh, dipole moment is playing major role. Because of that, the anti form is uh, highly stable than it of the gauge form. That's all uh, some nonlinear structures so taken nicely about the nonlinear structures. By using this idea, let me go to uh, cyclic structures. For that, uh, let me select cyclohexane because that is one of well established system to talk about the conformational analysis. We know real about the cyclohexane, the molecular formula is C6H12. Then, if you go through the conformers existing in the cyclohexane, three different conformers are available there. They are namely called as char conformation, boat conformation, skew, or twist, uh, twist boat conformation. These are all the three esteems actually available in this particular system. Then, uh, placement of hydrogen getting very, very important as far as the char conformation is concerned because they are not identical. All the hydrogen available there is not identical because they are different. For example, let me go through the H1 NMR of the cyclohexane. If we record the H1 of cyclohexane at low temperature, we are getting two different signal. One is uh, coming around 1.17 like that, 1.17 1 ppm, then one is coming around 1.6 ppm. 
the Kempker shift difference is because of the placement of the hydrogen in cyclohexene. One group of the hydrogen is actually placed in the axial position and rest of the hydrogens available at equatorial position. Whenever we find some axial functional group, they will make problem because uh, axial bonds available over the system is almost parallel. There will be repulsion between the axial and axial. So whenever we find equatorial substitution, there will not be any problem. There uh, you will not bind, uh, find any repulsion because the functional group will go away from the molecule. So they will not create any problem. Likewise, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there is two more conform uh, conformers are possible for cyclohexane. Uh, another, another one is board conformation. There some strains are actually operating in the particular conformer. In that two pairs of eclipse strain is actually available. Carbon 1, 2, they are eclipsed to each other. As I mentioned earlier, if there is eclipse 1, there will be repulsion. Likewise, bond number, uh, carbon number 4 and 5, they are also eclipsed to each other. So, there will, be a, uh, there will be repulsion. In this particular case, the bond relationship is 120 degree. So, the, all the actual equatorial uh, category will not be available in the case of conformation. Moreover, the carbon number 1 and 4 have somewhat nearer hydrogen. They are namely called as black pole hydrogens. They are having much problem. There will be repulsion between the uh, two hydrogens available in middle. The particular repulsion is namely called as bowsprit flagpole interaction. Due to that also, the particular molecule gets somewhat higher energy. Then, if we go to twist board, twist board is somewhat uh, least energetic than that of the board conformation because in twist board form there is no such strain due to that that particular molecule gets somewhat least energy. By means of using this uh, energy concentration here also we can draw the uh, car by using potential energy difference versus uh, reaction coordinate here the values and all given in that particular tablet column. The potential energy difference between the twist char and the char is 10 kilocalories per mole. The Q form and char conformation is 5.4 kilocalories per mole. The char to board form is the 7.3 kilocalories per mole. By using the above data, we can draw the potential energy curve between the potential energy versus reaction coordinate, and the value difference and all given in that particular graph. Next, let me go to mono substituted cyclohexane, I mean, conformational analysis of mono substituted cyclohexane. For example, let me take methyl cyclohexane. There, placement of methyl group is possible in two ways. As I mentioned earlier, the positions available in the cyclohexane is not identical. They are two different way of placement. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we can place the functional group at axial and also at equatorial. As I mentioned earlier, conformational changes are because of bending the cyclic molecule. As far as cyclic molecule concerned, we have to bend them. Bending means uh, rotating simultaneously a number of chemical bonds. For example, in the first structure, let me assume the uh, functional group is at equatorial position. I am going to bend this particular molecule. Let me assume, first I am going to bend the slanting position of the char, slanting position to downward trend. I will get board, uh, board structure, no doubt at all. Then, if I bend the leg side to upper direction as shown in the figure, we will get another char. There, I will find the functional group at axial. What I mean is, whenever we make conformational changes, the axial functional group will become equatorial and the equatorial will become axial. That is one of conventional statement. So, as far as the placement of functional group is concerned, as I mentioned earlier, if I if, if we substitute the functional group at axial position, there will be some problem. There will be repression between the axial position, axial position, as well as axial position and methylene group. Due to that, the axial methyl cyclohexane gets two coach body interaction as shown in the uh, Newman projection formula. Due to that, the axial substituted conformer gets around 1.8 kilocalories per mole high energy. So, uh, when we compare the two different isomer, I mean axial and equatorial combination, the axial combination is uh, somewhat least stable because there is repulsion. Repulsion due to that the energy is uh, going up around 1.8 kilocalories per mole. So, whenever one system possesses highest energy, that will be least stable. 
So as far as the stability factor is concerned, the actual isomer is less stable than that of the equatorial isomer. So by using this idea also, we can draw the curve by using potential energy and reaction coordinate as shown in the figure. The, the potential energy difference between the uh, actual isomer and equatorial isomer is shown. That is 1.8 kilocalories per mole. Next, uh, let me move to somewhat complicated system which is namely called as disubstituted cyclohexene. There are three different combinations possible because uh, 6 carbon is there, 1 comma 2 disubstituted cyclohexene is possible, 1 comma 3 disubstituted cyclohexene is possible and as well as 1 comma 4 disubstituted cyclohexene is possible. See as, uh, as far as the disubstituted derivative is concerned, in this case cis-trans isomerization is possible because we go through the Neumann projection formula of cyclohexene, uh, the 4 carbon uh, let me assume the bed, bed of the chair is on one plane. By means of connecting two carbon, I have the leg as well as by means of connecting remaining two carbon, I have the slanting position of the chair. So uh, with respect to plane, we, we can uh, classify them as cis trans isomerases. If bo both the functional groups are at same side, that will be called as cis isomer as shown in the figure. Likewise, if the functional groups are available in the anti position, that is namely called as trans isomer. So, cis trans isomerization is unavoidable as far as the disubstitute cyclohexene is concerned. Let me go through the tablet column which is given for the uh, cis trans isomerization. As I mentioned earlier, different possibilities they are namely called as 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4 disubstitute cyclohexene. They are all mentioned in that particular tablet column. The cis isomer for 1 comma 2 substitution is equatorial axial combination. If we place them in equatorial and axial, that, that, that will be giving cis uh, isomer. Likewise, axial equatorial also cis. Then for trans isomer, we have to place the functional group at axial and axial position. Likewise, equatorial equatorial also trans isomer. They are all neatly mentioned in that particular tablet column. If you want a clear understanding, you can also go through the Neumann projection formula for cyclohexene where the functional groups are mentioned. Next, let me go to 1 comma 3 disubstituted cyclohexene. There, for cis isomer, actual axial combination is required. If you flip the actual axial combination, we will get equatorial equatorial. Equatorial equatorial combination also cis isomer for 1 comma 3. If you go for trans isomer for 1 comma 3, the equatorial axial combination is trans. Likewise, actual equatorial also trans. That's all about the 1 comma 3 disubstitute cyclohexene. Let me go to 1 comma 4 disubstitute cyclohexene. There, the equatorial actual combination is cis. Likewise, actual equatorial also cis. For trans, that is, the record combination is actual axial and equatorial equatorial. If actual axial functional group is available, uh, if you flip that particular molecule or if you bend the particular molecule, will get equatorial equatorial combination that also trans. So this, are the, this is the tablet column which is prepared for identifying the cis trans isomerization in 1 comma 2 or 1 comma 3 or 1 comma 4 disubstituted cyclohexene. Next let me go to energy consideration of uh, this particular system. First let me uh, start doing the 1 comma 2 disubstituted cyclohexene. As you see in the figure, uh, we can draw the Neumann projection formula for 1 comma 2 disubstituted cyclohexene. First, let me start with cis. As I mentioned in the last uh, tablet column, the equatorial axial combination or actual equatorial combination is uh, the cis isomer. The number of gauge pt interaction available in the molecule is 3. One is because of uh, methyl methyl interaction, the remaining is because of actual methyl like that interaction. So, totally three gauge pedal interactions available uh, due to that there will be raise in the energy around 2.7 kilocalories per mole. Likewise, actual equator also have three different uh, three gauge pedal interaction there are also uh, uh, that potential difference will be 2.7 kilocalories per mole. Then let me go to 1 comma 2 trans uh, combination there as I mentioned earlier uh, one for 1 comma 2 actual actual or equatorial equatorial combination is trans. So as I mentioned in the previous case, whenever we find the functional group at equatorial equatorial, there will not be any problem, there will not be any repulsion. But when we, when we come to the actual functional group, they will be making lot of problem. So because of one actual methyl group, there will be two gauge pedal interaction. That is, uh, uh, I have mentioned in the case of mono substituted cyclohexane, the same thing here also. In this case, we have two actual methyl groups to 
totally uh, four numbers of gauge per interaction is operating due to that uh, there will be raise in the energy of 3.6 kilo calories per mole. But let me come to equatorial equatorial combination for 1 comma 2. In that case there is only one gauge per interaction because of the equatorial equatorial metal group there is no other repulsion is operating there is no other van der Waals repulsion is operating due to that there will be raise only 0.9 kilo calories per mole. That is all uh, regarding the cisterns isomerization of 1 comma 2 disulfocycloexane they are also shown by means of using Newman projection formula. Next let me go to uh, 1 comma 3 disubstituted cyclohexane. First uh, let me start with cis isomer as I mentioned earlier axial axial or equatorial equatorial combination is required for the cistern isomerization. As far as the equatorial equatorial combination is concerned here the methyl groups are in 1 comma 3 position so there will not be any repulsion at all. So as far as this particular case is concerned the equatorial equatorial combination is the stable conformer stable conformer for uh, 1 comma 3 disubstitute cyclohexane. But if you go to uh, 1 comma uh, I mean uh, equatorial equatorial combination that the gauge protein, uh, number of gauge protein interaction is available bo uh, available uh, is 4 but the energy difference is abnormal this is only one case which is deviating from the calculation here the energy difference is 5.4 kilocalories per mole. This particular abnormal increase is due to diaxial methyl interaction due to diaxial methyl interaction here we are getting abnormal energy deviation. Next let me go to 1 comma 3 disubstituted trans isomer there are uh, there the record combination is axial equatorial equatorial axial. So as I mentioned earlier whenever we find one axial methyl group there will be two gauge body interaction there is no other uh, gauge body interactions are available in this particular molecule only two gauge body interaction is available due to that this particular uh, system I mean axial equatorial or equatorial axial for 1 comma 3 trans is uh, somewhat minimum energy that is 1.8 kilo color is, is the difference. Next let me go to 1 comma 4 disubstitute cyclohexane first uh, let me start with cis isomer that is actual equatorial combination or equatorial actual combination is uh, for cis that the potential energy difference is 1.8 kilo calories since that is only two gauge protein reactions. If we go to uh, 1 comma 4 trans the actual actual combination uh, just like the 1 comma 3 here also we are getting four numbers of gauge protein interaction so the potential energy difference is 3.6 kilo calories per mole. As usual in the case of equatorial equator combination there will not be any gauge protein interactions so there will not be any raise in the internal energy. So here also the most stable conformer is equatorial equatorial combination so whenever we find equatorial functional group that will be stable. That is all the conformational analysis of uh, cyclohexane and its derivative. Now let me go to structure and chemical reactivity I mean conformation and chemical reactivity. The conformational uh, features playing major role in the reactivity for example let me take this solvolysis reaction solvolysis of tosylate by using acetic acid here we are using acetic acid as uh, solvent so acetolysis, acetolysis of tosylate will lead to formation of the product given in the reaction. So in this case just we have taken both the cis and trans isomers trans isomer in the case of trans we have the uh, functional group at uh, equatorial position but if you go to cis the functional group is available at the axial position. Among the two isomer which one will react faster that question mark will come. So according to the conformational changes that cis one will react faster than that of trans reason is this in the case of uh, mechanism mechanism of uh, this acetolysis of tosylate a carbonium ion formation is the intermediate. So in the first step in the rate determining step the leaving group OTS minus goes out. So whenever we find the uh, uh, leaving or elimination reaction the outgoing group will be from the sterically hindered area. So in this case the, the cis isomer we have the OTS at the actual position so the OTS uh, will go out as OTS minus very easily. So the particular cis isomer reacts faster than that of the trans one. Next let me go to the another uh, novel reaction which is namely called as saponification of ester. First let me recollect the mechanism uh, for the saponification reaction. So as far as the saponification reaction is concerned there are four different mechanisms operating in that 
the detrital mechanism is prominent as given the equation initially the carbonyl carbon reacts with OH minus and comes out as sp3 hybridized carbon so that this particular mechanism is namely called as uh, uh, tetrahedral mechanism. As far as this mechanism is concerned actually enlargement of the functional group is taking place. So once again let me take the both the cis and trans isomer of this particular compound one of the cyclohexane derivative as shown in the uh, figure. In one isomer we have the functional group I mean the reactive site at actual position the rest is uh, in the rest of the molecule that particular functional group is at equatorial position. So as I mentioned earlier the mechanism enlargement of the functional group is uh, taking place. So whenever we find uh, enlargement uh, that is very difficult in actual positions. So the actual position functional group I mean the cis isomer is uh, uh, reacting slower than the other trans because enlargement of the functional group at actual position is restricted. So cis is reacting uh, less than the trans. The ratio between the K, uh, trans and K cis for this particular ethyl uh, ester is 20. I mean the cis isomer is 20 times faster than the of the trans one. So like that a lot of uh, differences lot of problems comes because of the conformation and orientation. Let me uh, stop this lecture because almost I have given all the fundamentals required for the conformational analysis. If you go through complete a survey of the conformational analysis this ocean is a number of uh, uh, conformational studies and all available nowadays that is uh, developed with the sound number ring system and all by using a NMR and MM calculation etc. So, so far uh, I have discussed about the conformational uh, analysis of um, linear structures then cyclic uh, structures I have given all the fundamentals required for the cyclic structures and all that is all.